Okay, we're going to clean the wood stove today and the chimney. So I took the bricks out of up top. That's these pieces here. The center piece and then the other bricks that line the top. Took out the bottom ones, cleaned out the ash. And then I'm going to go up the roof and drop my uh, cleaning ball down it. And I'm lucky because I don't have a flu and I have a straight pipe. Very easy. If you are had bendy pipes, you'd have to take them down and clean it. Pretty simple, clean it out, take out the bricks out of the top because this is a reburning uh, technology. I don't have a, a flue in the chimney, I don't have any of that because it's all regulated and controlled in the firebox. Other than that, like I say, I'll go up on the roof and uh, drop the ball down and then. Uh, I'll tie a pair of ice grips or something on, on the end of the rope so it just goes straight down in tight and then I'll pull the ball through. Okay, so I'm going to climb the old TV tower and go up, take the cap off, bang it around a little bit and uh, drop my ball down. That's about that. There's my rope. And my scripts. And just pull. I don't know if you can see it. All the black creosote coming down. Dusty. No. And there it is. Just like that. That's easy when you got a straight pipe. Right? Easy, yes, easy with a straight pipe. If you had a bend, you'd have to you'd have to take the elbows all down and take them outside and beat them. And some people would uh, fill them full of newspaper, newspaper and burn them out. But uh, if you got one of these, you could just pull them through each pipe, and that's that. You'll see all the creosote that came out of the chimney. That's a nice easy job. And then I'll uh, finish cleaning, wipe it down, and then install the bricks back in. A little bit of ash from the fireplace, a little water. Nothing works like it. And there it is, cleaned and ready to keep us warm this winter. Good job, darling. Yeah, don't look at my hair. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how How does it.